Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Nigger Chronicles. So, on today's Nigga Chronicles, we are featuring Ray, okay? So if you guys have been following the Chronicles, Ray is a, this nigga that I met on a dating app. And um, I wasn't really expecting too much to happen. I just thought it was just going to be straight uh, sexual relationship. But I actually ended up um, catching a few feelings for him. And um, so he said for me, um... Ray's, the only issue with him was the baby mama. It was just too much for me. And it was clear that she was always going to win. And I was always going to be his second best. And I was just getting tired of every time she called, you're telling me to be quiet and all this bullshit. I'm not dealing with that. If you can't fuck me and somebody called and they hear me coughing in the background, we don't need to be together. Um, so, and it's not that he wasn't honest about not trying to jump in a relationship with me, but the reasoning was always, oh, well, she's this, and she said she's going to take my son, and blah, 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 blah. But when I went through his phone, clearly you are begging this bum, because <laughs> she's a bum, and he is now. He's also a bum. You are begging this bum to be back with you, because, you know, bums deserve and belong to be together. So, I mean, there's nothing I could do. <laughs> you know what I mean? As much as I liked you and everything, I, unfortunately, I'm sorry, I fortunately, for me, love myself more. Unfortunately, for you, love myself more. And I just... You know, once you show me who you are, I just believe it off the rip. <laughs> I don't even be trying to be like, maybe he's not a horrible person. No, if you do some horrible shit, you're a horrible person. Like, I had to learn that, Vaughn. You did some fucked up shit some years ago, and 2020, you're still a fucked up person. At the end of the day, when it came down to um, Ray, you know, he ended up dipping out on me, going to PA, and that's just what it was. He didn't say shit. And, you know, of course, I had, like, drunk dialed him, and he was, like, in a bad position. So he was so pressed to hit me up and tell me about this and that and whatever. And that's when I finally made him say, like, no, bitch, I, you weren't a priority to me. That's why I didn't tell you. And that's cool. And you're not no longer a priority to me. So we just, you got to remember that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he calls me yesterday. I ended up calling him back a little later out of curiosity to see what the fuck he wanted. Because I had definitely drunk dialed him one time. I had definitely drunk dialed him one time. Ooh, you know when you drink it, but it only gets on the one side. I need it. There we go. And um, he didn't pick up or he didn't call me back. And that was probably like a little over a month ago. Um, so that was it. <laughs> it was whatever. So I called him like, hey, what's up? And he's like, you know, hey, how are you? I'm like, I'm good. What you want? <laughs> so um, he's like, oh, I just wanted to talk. Okay, because last time you called, you wanted to come over. And I told you no. And then I just never heard from you again. You know, if you niggas were smart, instead of you just trying one time to do something and then getting shut down, maybe you could be a little bit more persistent. But I guess you're only persistent for what you want. So um, he's like, I want to talk. I'm like, oh, all right, well, talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up? So he's like, oh, well, I, you know, I, you don't even want to hear all my mess and all my drama. Well, why don't you just go ahead and say it? Because clearly that's what the fuck you called me for since you're not calling to really see truly how I'm doing or what's going on with me or you don't have any kind of good news about yourself. You know what I'm saying? So what? So he's like, oh, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just so crazy. But, you know, I had my son down here. My son was down here with me for a little bit. Right. Just your son. Okay. My son was down here with me for a little bit. And, and when I was bringing him back up to PA, you know, to my baby mother, um, I was asking her where I was going to stay. And I, um, I, 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 she told me I had to stay with her uncles because that's where she was staying. Okay. And so when I had woke up, I had took a nap. And when I woke up, I looked at my wallet and all my cards and my money was gone. And my keys was gone. She had took my car because, you know, I had put my car in her name. Right, so that was her car. <laughs> I had put my car in her name. And she took the car and drove up to Baltimore and, and robbed me. I said, what did she take from you in Baltimore? You been to my house in Baltimore? 
correct. And there's no fucking reason why I would drive two hours anywhere to come and steal an air mattress. So what the fuck do you have a value in Baltimore? Man, because I was doing good. I had stacks on stacks for real. Man, this, she came and took a $130 Bluetooth speaker. You know what them expensive Bluetooth speakers from Walmart? Mm-hmm. She came and took a Bluetooth speaker. She took a belt. I had that Gucci designer belt. You know that belt, $700? Right. And she poked holes in my mattress. I said, how does she poke holes in your mattress? You know how I got the air mattress? I got like three of them air mattresses. Yeah, man. And and I had this and I had that. Luckily, she ain't find the iPod, the iPad, but everything else. Yeah, man. She she stole all this shit. Okay, so what'd you do? I called the police on her. I did a report on her. She took my motorcycle and my car. Oh, so now you're back to just square one, huh? Yeah, man, I was doing good. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm not even doing that good right now. Because she didn't did all that shit, man. I ain't even dealing with her or my dead little boy. I'm not even dealing with them. I said, okay, well, I don't deal with deadbeats. I don't even talk to them on the phone or anything. Um, so you go ahead and do that. I was like, at the end of the day, you made a baby with her. So you have to take care of your son. I mean, you really don't have to deal with her. There are ways around shit like this, but you I said you choose to go back to her. So what what do you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? What do you really want anybody to do? You got a car in her name. So that's her fucking car. That's what happens when you get cars in people's names in bitches names. When they get mad, they come back and they take their car cuz it's in their name. I mean, it's just that simple. It was never your car to begin with. You know what I'm saying? You went and got a motorcycle, a car, and a $700 belt, and $130 Bluetooth speakers, and you're still sleeping on an air mattress. That's why you would never even sniff my pussy again, much less actually stick your dick in it. Because I don't fuck with niggas on air mattresses. Like, listen, listen, listen. I'm not saying I'm all that <laughs> or anything, but I, in my mind, I am. You know what I'm saying? That's how every woman should be. In your mind, you are all that. And you, the nigga you need by your side needs to be all of that too. Like, you at least got to match me. If I have a, a mattress, you need to have a mattress. If I got an apartment, a little house, you need to have an apartment. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, if I got a job, you need to have a job. It's not going to be all this one-sided shit. It's not going to be that you're living out your car, you're living with your mama, you're in your friend basement. I'm not dealing with that type of shit because that's not what you get when you're dealing with me. You get a wholesome motherfucking person who has their shit together. You know what I'm saying? If you can't take me to a private place to suck on your dick, we can't be together. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got to bring something to the table. The issue with Roy is he brings something to the table. It's just... I'm not the one he really wants sitting at it. It's the girl. He wants me at the guest table with the kids. You know, on Thanksgiving, y'all got the family table, and sometimes the kids sit at that. You want me at another table. Y'all know at the wedding, y'all got all the family, then y'all got that one table's guest. It'd be like the, the nigga that was playing the piano, maybe the bartender, daughter. It'd be your pastor. They'd be at that big guest table. You want me at the guest table. You want me at the wedding, but you don't want me to be the bride. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the problem. So I, I just, me, you're sending the whole motherfucking invitation. I don't want a little bit of you. I, I want all of you. And what you want to do is you want to give me 25% and you want to give the bum, that girl, 75%. And that's just not, I'm not taking that deal. Deal or no deal, nigga, it's no deal. Um, and he doesn't really see what's wrong with that or he tries to act like that's not what the situation is. I'm a grown-ass woman. You're dealing with a little girl. So that's why she'll keep doing it back and forth with you. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate you. If you call me, hey, maybe I'll pick up. I'll, I will talk, you know, for a little bit. But other than that, it's not, you don't know where I live. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to know. We don't need to see each other. We don't need to hang out. Um, that shit is over. You know, actions have consequences. And when you ran off and did what you did, the consequence was you're never going to see me again. And when I texted him, you'll never see me again, I meant that shit. So... He's like, and I told her about us. I said, what'd you say? He was like, I told her. I told her about us. And she said, oh, I told her I'm seeing someone. She says, who, the girl? Ashley? 
oh, she's a bum. She looks like a bum, and she don't have no money, and she's ugly. I said, oh, she said what all bitches say about another bitch they do fucking with. Like, I said, but what makes me a bum? Is it my flawless skin? Is it my long natural hair? My gold jewelry? I, I don't Maybe my sterling silver? All the clothes in my closet with tags on them that I haven't even touched or worn? I'm confused. Me getting into a four-year HBCU? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Having a house? Actually, I'm about to move in another house. I don't know what makes me a bum, but if that makes me a bum, I'll be a bum. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But let's look at what makes you a bum, honey. Maybe you think you're all that because you're light-skinned. I don't know if they told you that light-skinned shit is pretty much out of the way. We don't even give a fuck about light skins. No more like that. Y'all are not all that. Um, I would love to see your hair. It's always covered by lace fronts and cheap wigs. Um, so that would be really nice. Maybe we can compare who's is longer. I don't know. Who has a better grain? Mm, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I mean... From what I've heard, from what your baby daddy told me, you don't have a job. Oh, no, you do have a job. She's on Instagram selling pussy. Um, so, yeah, you, you got a job. She's a, a whore. Um, what else have I heard? I don't know. She's homeless, I guess. I don't know where she's living. Her uncles. Mm -hmm. um, what else? What else about her is non-bummy? I'm trying to think. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I know she ain't got nothing going for herself. Uh, I know when I looked at his phone, all she do is beg him for money, even if he's already sent her money. And all she do is make threats and ask for money. So, And um, she robs people. This is actually the second time she's robbed him. That's just what he told me about. I don't know about any other times. Um, what else? I don't know. So I feel like she's the bum. <laughs> she can say I'm the bum. If I'm the bum, I'm winning for the bums out this motherfucker. You heard me? So I don't know. I really don't give a fuck. Like at the end of the day, I asked him, what did you tell her about me for? I said the time to tell her about me was probably when I was actively sucking your dick. Laying on my back. Spread eagle. Right. While you was nothing at me. Because when me and him broke up, we had our little breakup the first time, and we reconnected, I thought he had been pulling out. He told me he was nutting in me every time we fucked, which was crazy. <laughs> because it's just like, you niggas, like, don't even have, y'all don't even give a fuck about y'all own situations. Like, what if he would have got me pregnant? You know what I'm saying? Now, thank God that was all taken care of from my side to prevent pregnancy, but... Nothing prevents pregnancy besides not fucking. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. So what if you had got me pregnant? You know what I'm saying? People don't, nobody thinks about that. He just didn't give a fuck. You with me, you like this wop, so I'm just going to nut in it every time. I'm not even going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I honestly thought he was, he was pulling out. I didn't know he was doing that shit. So it's kind of like, I just, <laughs> it, 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 it irritated me because it's like, what exactly do you want? What do you mean you told her about us? What am I supposed to, Am I supposed to be happy? You know, I don't have any kind of real feelings for you at this point. There's nothing for me to run back to. There's clearly a pattern with you. And the pattern is every time you're up, you leave me behind. Every time you're up, you put your baby mama first. So let's go back to when you actually got your stimulus check. When you got your stimulus check, that was the last time I seen you. You had your stimulus check in Baltimore for 24 hours before you ran off to your baby mama. And, and I didn't hear from you for two weeks. Next thing I know, you were quote unquote in jail. Okay. So how come it's like, you know what, bitch? You 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 took me out one time, you know, to, to eat. I appreciate that. Or just from the times we've did whatever and you've been using your gas. Not like you haven't gave me any gas money to do anything. And you've used your gas to do whatever. You know, you've helped me in, in, in little ways. Let me, let me, bitch, ain't nothing open but shit. Fuck it. Let's, let me Uber you to something. What you want? My treat. You've never done that for me. The only thing you've ever done is cook something for me. And with all due respect, that's no money out of your pocket because you get food stamps. Okay? So you, you don't, you've never done anything for me that actually truly affected you. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, and you the type of nigga like, it, you know, towards the end, it was a lot of shit starting to get on my nerves. For example, if you smoke marijuana. If you smoke cigarettes, if you drink and you enjoy these activities and how they make you feel, 
you got to have the money to, to, to upkeep it. Cigarettes ain't free. Weed ain't free. You know, and it ain't cheap either. So if I go over to your house and I'm smoking my cigarettes, because I'm, I'm this type. Like, I'll smoke my cigarettes and I'm not offering you any. I'm not offering you any. If you cannot afford a pack of Newports for $8.30 or whatever, then you don't need to be smoking none of mine. I earn this money. This is all my $8.30. Why the fuck should I share it with you? And I'm about to give you some pussy? No. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have it all. So I would make, I'll make a nigga ask me, can I get a cigarette? Because how good does that feel? While me, <laughs> right? The whole time you seen it. Yep. <sighs> then what happened? Mm-hmm. And they be like, um, mm hmm Sometimes I can tell they want to ask, and I just smoke it right in front of them. I'm not offering you nothing. You should be offering me something. You know what I'm saying? How men want you to cook and clean and shut the fuck up and have kids? I want you to be able to provide. I want you to be able to go out and get your own new ports. I want you to be able to go out and, 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 and do anything you can without me. Because I'm not going to come to your house begging, can I, can I have something? Can I have this? Can I have a cigarette? Can I have a blunt? I'm not doing all that shit. No. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it be shit like that. Like, and nigga, you can't do nothing for me. You did nothing for me, but not in me. You know what I'm saying? And now you want to call me when you down and out again. Nigga, the next time you want to call me, call me when you get the thousands of dollars. Call me when you have the car and the motorcycle. Tomorrow, I wanted to ride by the motorcycle by your house. For what? To be like, I have a motorcycle. I have a $700 belt. I got a $130 Bluetooth. I got some expensive clothes and some expensive shoes. You want to come back and suck my dick on my airbed? You're a fucking bum. You're a loser. You're a bum with a bum. You don't Tell your other bum, don't worry about me taking you. I would never take a bum from a bum. Bums belong together. Losers belong together. Losers don't belong with winners. Bums don't belong with winners. And I'm a motherfucking winner. Ever since I left you, nigga, I didn't move and I got accepted into motherfucking college. Those are major things. What about you? What have you done? Besides keep collecting money from unemployment and let your dumbass baby mother keep stealing from you. What have you done? Now you're back to square one. No car, no nothing. All you got is the clothes on your back and that raggedy droid cell phone you got. That's all you got. And now you want to call me tomorrow. I told her about us. I said, for what? <laughs> we done. It's nothing to tell. You told her about a bitch you used to fuck with. That's what you told her. You didn't tell her about nothing recent going on. I don't fuck with you. Tell her about him. Girl, I don't fuck with him. I don't want him. He can't even afford this. He can't even afford to get me that. I don't want to fuck with him. He couldn't even afford my hair jewelry. What am I fucking with him for? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all motherfuckers have to understand. Y'all y'all can't. Y'all niggas like, like to. Y'all want to pick the whore. That's why I know it's about a lot of men. Y'all want to be with the whore. Y'all want to go off and, and cheat with the whore, do all this shit with the whore, and then when the bitch fuck you over, now you want to come back to the bitch that you should have been with, the one that would have had your back. Now, what was I telling him when he was about to come into all that money? Why don't you take care of all your car shit? Take care of your suspended license. Take care of that suspended registration. Take care of all that stuff. And then go and get your car. I can see if you had, like, one thing you need to take care of and then you still wanted a car. But, nigga, you, you don't have any of the qualifications <laughs> to get a car. You know what I'm saying? Since you're about to come into whatever it was, 8000 he he's had, like, 11000 in and out of his hands just in the last two to three months. And you have nothing to show for it. Nothing. What kind of grown-ass man wants to keep sleeping on an airbed? How is that okay with you? You're almost 30 years old. You know, it just goes to show your mindset. But you want to walk around with a $700 belt and a car and a bitch name and think that you're doing something, think that you're stunting on somebody? Ain't nobody done. Let me tell you something. There's no way that bitch had your keys, drove down from PA to Baltimore, just stuck her key in the door because you rent a room, you live with other people, and she just walked in the house and nobody said anything, and you weren't there. That doesn't make any sense. That don't make no kind of sense. What I can see is that her and her, her son was living with you, so they knew her, so that when she did open that door with the key, it wasn't a big deal to see her in there because she had lived there. Because if I went by his house today and I had a key, even though his roommates know me, I can bet your bottom dollar they're not going to just let me waltz in that motherfucker and go to his room and open the door and just be in his room and, and leave out, take his shit. So either she did it when nobody was home or you, she was living there with you and they knew her so they were comfortable with her being in there. Either way, you don't have to call me telling the half lie. I give no fucks about you. I don't care. <laughs> I wish you the best. I hope you're alive and all that shit. But other than that, I, I really don't give a fuck. You want to call me talking so bad about this girl, nigga, in the text messages, you was begging to be with this girl, saying that I wasn't nothing, basically. Like, oh, don't even worry about her. 
You know, like I wasn't, you know, she's nothing compared to you type thing. Okay. And I'm going to be nothing all, all over here by myself. You know, it just, I it, it irritates me because, as I said before, I'm not a consolation prize. I'm not a second best. I'm not a, well, I didn't get what I want, so I'm going to get Ashley. I didn't get the big stuff animal, so I'll settle for the fucking keychain. No. Y'all make you bet. You, you make your bed, you lie in it. You know, that that's just, it is what it is. I wasn't get on ratchet enough for him. I just wasn't. Would he tell me one day, oh, I ain't never really seen you get mad. I ain't never really seen you. And why would you want to see that side of me? Didn't I run your foot over? I mean, that wasn't ghetto mad enough for you. Like, what do you want me to do? What you want me to do is call, yeah, motherfucker, because I ain't go, yeah, bitch, 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 bitch. Yeah, fuck you and fuck you. And because you ain't going to see your son, you motherfucking bitch, you black bitch, you black. That's what you want me to do. And I'm not doing that. I'm not putting all that energy into a nigga that don't have a fucking mattress. You've really got the game fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing all that. I'm not going to go back to you so you can get it together. When I met you, you was getting it together. And that was fine. To me, you didn't have a whole lot to get together. You know, get your own little place. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. That was it. You had a job. The only thing was her. But now it's like, it's too much. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's too much. I'm, there's nothing for me to go back to. It's not like we parted and you called me like, listen, uh, bitch, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I, you know, whatever. I want to try this again. And, you know, I made a mistake. I got my shit together. Bitch, you know, I had all that money. Bitch, I didn't move. I got me a better job. Don't call me with less than you had before. Don't come back to me with nothing. Or come back to me in just the same fucking position. You know what I'm saying? Up your game. Up your game. You want somebody to trash this girl. What you want me to do about the bitch? You knew she was trash when you stuck your dick in her. You knew that. This girl didn't just all of a sudden start acting trashy one day. She was trash when you met her. Trash when you knew her. Trash when you fucked her. Trash when you nutted her. Trash when she was pregnant. Trash when she had the baby. She's been trash. She's always going to be trash. Some bitches are just trash. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas are just trash. It just, it is, it is what it is. Product of your environment. Never knew any better. Never had anyone to show you anything better. So when you want something, all she know how to do is rob and steal. And because she knows you're a gump, dumbass nigga, she going to do it. Because I know niggas, if she did that to them, that bitch would end up dead. I know niggas like, they would have killed her physically. She would be floating somewhere. Because everyone isn't going to allow you to just take their keys in their sleep, their bank cards, and roll up to your motherfucking house and take anything of any kind of value that you got without consequence. You can call the police on her, so what? You think they give a fuck that she took your Bluetooth speaker? That she took the car you had in her name? <laughs> they don't care about that shit. Nigga, we got 300 and some murders out this motherfucker. They don't give a fuck about you and that whore. Good luck. You know what I'm saying? They don't care. That's not on the top of their list. You're never going to get that shit back. Never. You're never going to get no money to get a lawyer to try to really sue her. Never. Because you worried about $700 bouts. And that's not the nigga I'm trying to be with. Just the comments he makes. I was saying how I ain't get my daughter's report card. And I'm, he like, but she passed, right? I'm like, yeah, they told me she passed, but I want to see her report card. Why do you care? I said, maybe you should care about your son's grades when he's in of age of school. Like, I asked him, I'm like, man, what's going on with your son this year with the school? I don't even know. I said, what, what grade he going to? Is he still in, like, um, what is it called? Whatever. Is, is he still in, you know, like, going to daycare? Or is he about to go to kindergarten? I don't even know. You're a fucking loser. Who the fuck don't know what grade their kid is going to? Or even just what's going on with them in general? Y'all don't give a fuck about that little boy. That boy is a fucking pawn in y'all game. For her to dangle every time you're not doing what she wants. Here the little boy. Here she is. Here she is with the boy. Poor boy gonna have a fucking twitch when he grow up. Because all y'all do is fucking dangle him. That's all y'all do. Your son was out here. So how come when I drunk called you last time you ain't called me back with your thousands of dollars and your motorcycle and your car? How come I never reap those benefits from you? Because I'm not the bitch you want to give those benefits to. You wanted to give it to your light-skinned red bone whore. You gave it to the bitch. Continue on. You don't think she's on drugs. The bitch is on drugs or she has a pimp. I know because I've been those things too. I got a pass too, boo. I got a pass too, boo. I know how it is. When the motherfucker want money, you better give it to him. I know what it is. That bitch ain't doing all that for nothing. She ain't just like, mm, boy, let me just go rob. <laughs> Something's going on with the girl. You don't want to see it. 
In fact, if I was you, I'd probably get a DNA test for that little nigga she got walking around saying you the daddy. Because he don't look nothing like you. Oops, I said it. Woo! Ashley, shut the fuck up. Doing too much, Ash. Doing too much. I'm just saying that little boy, I'm just, little red bone, little boy, little red bone. I'm just saying, I'm maybe the red bone from his mama. Boy don't look nothing like him. That's all I'm saying. Since she is selling her ass on Instagram, maybe it's one of them Graham niggas babies. I don't know. I'm just saying the boy looks nothing like him. <laughs> but hey, you a gump. I'm pretty sure you ain't get no DNA. <laughs> that bitch, you probably ain't even that baby pappy. Okay, up here going through all that drama for absolutely nothing. Because I bet if I ask her, you're going to be like, I ain't get, I ain't get no, I ain't get no DNA. Da, da, da. Okay, you was a dummy. You're going you gonna to be one of them niggas right there. Up on the motherfucking DNA court. You know them little court shows. They be having to do the DNA test looking dumb as shit. About to be 45 years old. Talking about, because I've been paying. I've been helping her out for 25 years. Right, because you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> You should have listened to me, the bitch that actually, you know, has brain cells that's in in school and doing for herself and, and her child and got your shit together. Cause and then you could have got a car in your own name and guess what you could have did? You could have called and said someone stole your vehicle. Bet you didn't do that. Bet you didn't do that. I mean, it's not like you're 18, you're, you're 14 and the car is in your parents' name. You're old enough to have a car in your name. If it's in her name and they pull over, fuck, what the fuck? What's gonna happen? Nothing. <laughs> hers that's what you get remember when he asked me if i can get a car and he said can you put a car in my name no and what did he say oh okay i'll just get my baby mother to do it <laughs> how'd that work out <laughs> mr bus <Bustas? laughs> at least my ass lost my car but i actually have enough money to uber to work every motherfucking day because <laughs> i'm not a bum <laughs> anyway I don't even want to spend no more time on this, y'all. I, I just, I had to tell y'all about that bum-ass nigga that called me. Talking about he told her about us. Congratulations. <laughs> Did you tell her the sky was blue, too? Because none of that shit even matters at this point. We're done. I'm sorry that you sitting at home broke. It, it, it has nothing to do with me. It's not my fault. I'm, I'm sorry. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends, you guys. I really appreciate the support. I love you guys. Be safe. Be well. Please wear your little mask. And thank you for watching The Nigger Chronicles.